Hi everyone, welcome to MR Learning Circle. I hope you all are doing good in your lives. So this is the third lecture of our microbiology series and in this we are going to cover the methods in microbiology part 1. I hope you all have watched the previous videos also and if not then please go and watch it's really information informative and you all would be benefited from those lectures so let's start today we are going to cover the mcqs on pure culture technique and the principles of microbial nutrition so the first question is from pure culture technique the principle of streak plate technique is a mechanical separation by heat gradient b dilution of inoculum to isolate single cells c differential nutrient utilization d selective inhibition of contaminants so the correct answer for this question is option b question 2 in a pore plate method obligate aerobes often grow poorly because a agar inhibits growth b oxygen diffusion is limited within the medium c nutrient concentration is too high D. Temperature is uneven. So, the correct answer for this question is option B. Oxygen diffusion is limited within the medium. Next, question 3. Two distinct layers of growth in culture tube indicates A. Pure culture B. Mixed culture of obligate aerobe and facultative anaerobe C. Microaerophile only D. Contamination from medium. So, the correct answer for this question is B. Mixed culture of obligate aerobe and facultative anaerobe. Now, question 4. Isolation of intracellular bacterial endosymbionts is achieved by A. Serial dilution B. Streak plating C. Differential centrifugation and filtration D spread plate method so the correct answer for this question is option c differential centrifugation and filtration next question 5 dilution to extinction technique is mainly used to a grow fastidious pathogens rapidly b isolate slow growing or unculturable microorganism c obtain high yield biomass d induce mutation so the correct answer for this question is Option B, isolate slow growing or unculturable microorganism. Now question 6, which statement about the roll tube that is Hun gate method is incorrect? A, used for anaerobes. B, medium solidified in a rotating tube under carbon dioxide and nitrogen. C, requires oxygen during incubation. D, colonies grow on inner wall of tube. So, the correct answer for this question is option C, require oxygen during incubation. Next, question 7. Enrichment culture selects for target organism by A. Subculturing repeatedly on nutrient agar B. Optimizing nutrients and condition favoring target metabolism C. Adding antibiotics to all media D. Extending incubation beyond stationary phase so the correct answer for this question is option a that is subculturing repeatedly on nutrient agar question number eight colonies appearing morphologically identical but differing in gram stain indicate a improper streaking b selective medium c mixed culture contamination and d expired gram stain reagent so the correct answer for question number eight is option c Mixed culture contamination. Next question. Question 9. Isolation of single microbial cells under microscope control condition is done by A. Micro manipulation technique B. Enrichment culture C. Replica plating D. Pore plate technique So the correct answer for this question is Option A. Micro manipulation technique Question 10. A pure culture that loses viability on subculturing most likely contains A. Obligate intracellular or symbiotic organism B. Organism in low moisture agar C. Heat sensitive 
organism d excessively large inoculum so the correct answer for this question is option a obligate intracellular or symbiotic organism now next topic is principle of microbial nutrition so the first question from this topic is microorganism that can synthesize all their cellular components from carbon dioxide are called a photoautotrophs b chemoautotrophs c heterotrophs and d saprophytes so the correct answer for this question is photoautotroph next question 2 Microbes that obtain energy from light and carbon from organic compounds are called A. Photoautotrophs B. Photoheterotrophs C. Chemoautotrophs D. Chemoheterotrophs So the correct answer for this question is photoheterotrophs. Next. Question 3. Which of the following is essential micro macronutrient for all microbes? So the options are a sodium b iron c phosphorus d zinc so the correct answer is c phosphorus question 4 nitrogen and microbial nutrition is required primarily for a carbohydrates b lipids c proteins and nucleic acid d vitamins so the correct answer is option c protein and nucleic acid next question question 5 Growth factor that must be supplied in small quantities because microbes cannot synthesize it. A. Carbon source. B. Nitrogen source. C. Vitamins. D. Minerals. So, the correct answer is C. Vitamins. Question number 6. Chemoheterotrophs obtain energy and carbon from A. Carbon dioxide and sunlight. B. Inorganic compounds only. C. Organic compounds. D. Nitrogen fixation. So, the correct answer is organic compound. Option C. Next question. Question 7. Organisms that can use inorganic ions like Fe2 plus or NH4 plus directly as nutrients are called A. Autotrophs B. Lithotrophs C. Phototrophs D. Organotrophs So, the correct answer is lithotrophs. That is option B. Question number 8. Microbes that require performed, sorry, preformed organic compounds for growth are A. Autotrophs, B. Heterotrophs, C. Lithotrophs, D. Phototrophs. So, the correct answer for question 8 is option B. Heterotrophs. Question number 9. Which type of microbial nutrition is typical of most pathogenic bacteria in humans? Option A. Photoautotrophy. B. Chemoheterotrophy. C. Lithotrophy. D. Photoheterotrophy. So the correct answer for question number 9 is option B. Chemoheterotrophy. Question 10. Microbes that require both organic carbon and light for energy but cannot fix carbon dioxide are A. Chemoautotrophs. B. Photoautotrophs. C. Photoheterotrophs. D. Chemoheterotroph. So, the correct answer for this question is option C. Photoheterotrophs. So, that was all for lecture number 3. I hope this video is beneficial for you and if you find it beneficial and it has improved or if it has given you some knowledge, then please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video and please comment down below for any improvement or anything you want or if you have any doubt. Thank you for watching.